In this video, I'm going to go over how anemia can be a cause of diabetes. Now remember, anemia is either a low iron level or a low red blood cell count. So if you're not making enough red blood cells, you do not, you, you do not have enough iron in your body because it's the red blood cells that store our iron for us. And conversely, if you're not getting enough iron, that means you're probably not making enough red blood cells. So either you have a low iron level or you have a low red blood cell count, they really are one and the same in a lot of cases. Okay, so anyways, red blood cells, there are 25 trillion red blood cells in our circulatory system, making it the most abundant cell in our blood. It is the most abundant cell in our circulatory system, our red blood cells at 25 trillion. They have no nucleus, they have no mitochondria, and they are mostly a bag of hemoglobin. Now hemoglobin is a protein that is used to carry oxygen and carbon dioxide in and out of our body. And there are about 215 of these hemoglobin proteins for every red blood cell. And each hemoglobin protein has four atoms of iron. So that's where we store most of our iron. Two thirds of our iron are stored in the blood, specifically in red blood cells. Now again, red blood cells are used to carry oxygen into the cell and primarily used to carry carbon dioxide out of the cell. Now red blood cells use glucose exclusively as an energy source. So if you are not making enough red blood cells, these cells are not gonna be able to pick up glucose out of our blood for us and maintain our uh, glucose levels. Now they do that because they have these GLUT1 transporters, which are in orange. So these GLUT1 transporters are basically like doors and they allow glucose to enter into these red blood cells. Now the problem that people have with artificial ingredients, specifically artificial ingredients that look like glucose, obviously glucose is not an orange uh, circle, but um, artificial ingredients that look a lot like glucose, they can sit on these doors, these GLUT1 doors and prevent glucose from entering the cell. So if you have diabetes, switching to an artificial um, alternative may not be the best option in the long run because again, they can interfere with um, glucose entering into the red blood cells and glucose entering into any other tissue that have these GLUT transporters. Okay, so again, the artificial ingredients are in purple, the glucose is in green, and these doorways, these GLUT1 transporters are in orange. And this is the blood, and this is the hemoglobin, uh, this is uh, the red blood cell. Okay, so again, the function of red blood cells primarily is to carry oxygen into the cell and carbon dioxide out. One of the main places in the cell that require oxygen is the mitochondria. The mitochondria is one of the only aerobic compartments in our cell, and the mitochondria can take up to 20% of this cell by volume. So you can actually have a lot of mitochondria in your cells. Um, and again, they are aerobic, so they require oxygen to function properly. Now, why do I bring up the mitochondria? Because it's the mitochondria that is critical for turning our glucose into energy. Now, glucose is converted into energy in three major processes. The first is glycolysis, the second is the Krebs cycle, and the third is the electron transport chain. Um, and the Krebs cycle and the electron transport chain happen inside the mitochondria. So when we bring glucose into the cell and we want to use it to make energy, first it goes through glycolysis. Now glycolysis is outside of the mitochondria and that yields two ATP units for us. Now from there, the process moves into the mitochondria where it enters the Krebs cycle. And then again, we get two units of ATP again from that process. Finally, this whole process moves to the electron transport chain where we get 34 units of ATP. I mean, this is the cash cow. This is the payout for our glucose being converted into energy is having this whole process get carried through the electron transport chain where we get 34 units of energy. So it is very critical that our mitochondria are functioning properly if we want to break down our glucose into the maximum number of ATP. Now one other thing I want to bring up here 
is that this electron transport chain, these um, machines, if you will, these proteins, in the electron transport chain, I found 27 atoms of iron are required for all of these P, um, proteins to work in the electron transport chain. So if you have an iron deficiency, not only are you not making enough of your red blood cells, but you are not making the proteins that, you're, that are needed to convert our glucose into our, um, most of our ATP, because we need, again, I found 27 atoms of iron. So that is really how um, anemia can cause diabetes. So if you are suffering from anemia, you're already gonna be suffering from fatigue, but if you're suffering from anemia from a low iron deficiency, you're likely not making these electron transport chain proteins and you're not gonna be getting any energy from your food. Moreover, Otto Warburg was a Nobel Prize, uh, Nobel Prize winner in um, biology and biochemistry, and he claimed that the cause of most cancers starts by a dysfunctional mitochondria. So it is very critical that we're getting enough oxygen to our mitochondria so that it can function correctly to possibly help us prevent developing some forms of cancer. And finally, if we are not making uh, healthy mitochondria, this end product from glycolysis can be converted into a lactic acid, which is um, a marker for muscle fatigue. So it is very critical that we are bringing enough oxygen to the mitochondria and that we are making healthy red blood cells. Now watch, if you wanna learn more about what we need to make healthy red blood cells, Watch anemia part one, it's anemia and suffocation. And finally, some people who take iron supplements complain it upsets their stomach. Well, it might be an indicator of a low chloride level in your stomach or in your body because we need chloride to make hydrochloric acid and it's the hydrochloric acids that's gonna help us break down our iron and help us absorb our iron. We need 3,600 milligrams of chloride a day. Um, and again, chloride is critical for making our stomach acid which helps us absorb our metals. So that's anemia. Uh, part two, diabetes, fatigue, depression, and uh, cancer.